Welcome to Bitburst. Do you know what's inside a quantum computer? If not, then you're in the right place. Quantum computing, a rapidly advancing field, is set to revolutionize how we process information. But what exactly is a quantum computer? And how does it operate? Today we're taking you on a journey inside a quantum computer, breaking down its components for a closer look. Let's dive right into it. Quantum computers, unlike their classical counterparts, leverage quantum mechanics to process data. They use quantum bits, or qubits, instead of binary bits. A qubit, thanks to superposition, can be zero, one, or both simultaneously, enabling quantum computers to handle vast computations concurrently. Additionally, qubits can be entangled, meaning a change in one instantaneously affects another, regardless of distance. This feature amplifies the computational prowess of quantum computers. So, while classical computers are potent, Quantum computers introduce an entirely new dimension to computing. Now let's explore the core principles of quantum computing, qubits, superposition, and entanglement. A qubit, the fundamental quantum information unit, can be zero, one, or both simultaneously, thanks to superposition. This quantum phenomenon allows a qubit to exist in multiple states concurrently, much like a coin landing on its edge, enabling quantum computers to process numerous possibilities at once. Entanglement, another quantum marvel, links qubits. A change in one qubit instantly affects another, irrespective of the distance between them, allowing quantum computers to process information in ways classical computers can't. These principles form the backbone of quantum computing, empowering it to tackle complex problems beyond the capabilities of classical computers. Now it's time to take a closer look at the physical structure of a quantum computer. The core of a quantum computer is the quantum chip, which houses the qubits. This chip is kept inside a dilution refrigerator, one of the coldest places in the universe. The refrigerator cools the chip to temperatures just a fraction of a degree above absolute zero. This extreme cold is necessary to reduce thermal vibrations that could disturb the delicate state of the qubits. The qubits are created in superconducting circuits, which are essentially tiny loops of metal cooled to extremely low temperatures. When cooled, these circuits exhibit quantum properties. They can carry an electric current forever without any loss, which is crucial for maintaining the quantum state of the qubits. Quantum computers need to be heavily shielded and isolated from their environment. Any external interference, whether it's temperature fluctuations, electromagnetic waves, or even cosmic rays, can cause the qubits to lose their quantum state, a process known as decoherence. Therefore, Quantum computers are usually housed in carefully controlled environments to minimize such disturbances. The physical structure of a quantum computer is designed to create and maintain the delicate quantum states of qubits, allowing them to perform complex computations that are currently beyond the reach of classical computers. In a quantum computer, qubits are manipulated using precise microwave pulses. These pulses can change the state of a qubit, put it into a state of superposition, or entangle it with other qubits. By carefully controlling these pulses, a quantum computer can perform a wide range of computations. One of the unique aspects of quantum mechanics is that the act of measuring a quantum system changes the system. When a qubit in a superposition state is measured, it chooses either zero or one, and the superposition state collapses. This is why quantum computations are carefully arranged to perform as many operations as possible before the final measurement. One of the biggest challenges in quantum computing is maintaining qubit coherence. Coherence refers to the ability of a qubit to remain in its superposition state. Any disturbance can cause a qubit to lose coherence and collapse into a classical state, a process known as decoherence. Error correction in quantum computers is also a complex issue. Due to the delicate nature of quantum states, errors can easily occur. Quantum error correction codes are used to detect and correct these errors without disturbing the quantum state. However, implementing these codes is a significant challenge and is one of the key areas of research in quantum computing. Quantum computing is in its infancy, but is progressing quickly. The technology could revolutionize various fields from material and drug design to optimization of complex systems and cybersecurity. However, there are hurdles to overcome. Maintaining qubit coherence, scaling up the number of qubits, and error correction are significant challenges. Also, while quantum computers currently require specialized environments, the emergence of quantum cloud services could make quantum computing more accessible in the future. 
The road ahead is filled with challenges, but the potential is truly astounding. As we continue to unlock the secrets of the quantum world, we edge closer to a future where the impossible becomes possible. But what do you think of quantum computers? Will they change the face of the world we live in? Let us know in the comments section. If you enjoyed this content and are eager for more, please like, share, and subscribe to Bitburst. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep imagining the future.